Hi, everyone. It's Wynn Saldani with a very quick update on Monday morning for the Chicago Yacht Club Race to Mackinac. Um, we're starting to get boats around the corner and finishing. Um, the whole fleet didn't go outside the Manitous as I thought they might, but a good chunk of fleet, the fleet, certainly more than I've ever seen, uh, went outside the Manitous because uh, you remember they were set up out here. Um, the wind's filled in from the south, and I'll show you a reason that the wind's filled in from the south, but I'm not clear that we're 100% like home free yet. Um, on the winds. Uh, again, I'll describe that in a second, but just to paint a picture for you, we've got, you got some boats kind of pointing the wrong way in the straits right now, right? Five and a half knots, four and a half knots right here headed to the south. That's an indication that the wind's gotten a little fluky there. Um, and it's interesting to me when you look at um, Defiance that's gotten across and sort of through the bridge right now. Uh, they're actually going seven and a half knots, suggesting the breeze maybe is a little more solid on this side of the bridge than the other side, a little soft here. Really soft here. Look at our two point. We have two point four point two knots. Um, it's kind of tough. We're mixing some of the last cruising uh, division boats with some of the big, biggest, fastest um, racing boats. But seven point one knots is okay breeze um, for a Santa Cruz seventy. You know, six point zero knots for a Far Forty. It's a little slow, so we're not talking incredible winds here. Um, so I would say we're kind of lightish through here. And then back here, I'm seeing lots of seven knots kind of boat speed. So I think we have 9.3 knots back here. So I think we've got some decent breeze back here through the Manitous. Um, and what's going to be probably a spinnaker ride um, from here to the, to the finish. And really, if you can get to where you can see, uh, you know, later today, maybe this afternoon, uh, late this afternoon, the, um, the area to the west of the bridge or the area under the bridge, it's really going to be a fantastic parade of boats coming in, I think. So we're about to have a, a string of finishers here. Um, and just one other thing to mention right now is last night I talked about uh, rainfall. And we do have some rainfall coming through. As I mentioned last night, it looked nasty when it was over Minnesota. We thought it was going to sort of decay as it came across into the upper lake. It definitely has. But a lot of our fleet's getting rained on right now. And I think what I would point out to you is that this rain is where we're seeing the higher winds towards the back of the fleet. And where it hasn't started raining yet is where we're sort of seeing the lighter winds. Um, sorry, we have stronger winds under the rain back here and lighter winds where it's not raining. Um, so I think that the wind turning on had a little bit to do with this you know, cluster coming across, um, driving some wind with it. And currently it's even you know, doing that a little bit more as it's driving some wind underneath the, the rain. Whereas where it's not raining, we're looking at uh, breezes that appear to be a little more, uh, a little lighter and a little more confused. Uh, that's the update for now. I'll be doing brief updates later in the day. Um, as always, thanks for your time and uh, talk to you soon.